Here's a, here's a little story about a young boss Who knew it's two ways it could go Like a coin toss Venture, venture off into the world At the early age Where every story ends in prison Or the pearly gates Don't nobody want to be waking up this early in the morning Writing these essays and reading these born old books I wish I had Jim first like my friend Heck yeah I ain't even read last night's chapters I did, but that's because I didn't have nothing to do. I wish we read more books by black authors. Some sci-fi fantasy stuff, though. I feel you. What's your name? I'm Dre. You? Nevaeh. What school did you go to? Palmer. Where'd you go? I went to Hambrook Hill. Oh, y'all football team is sorry. What's that supposed to mean to me? I'm just saying. Y'all scrubby, man. Well, I play volleyball. Volleyball? We ain't even have a volleyball team. What position you play? They had me playing setter, but I'm really an outside hitter. I ain't even going to lie. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick up where we left off. But first, I want y'all to give me your understanding of the passages. Let's start in the back. Lionel. The little dude, uh, Daniel. He didn't want his family to be cracking on him because he wanted to be a ballerina. So he uh, he lied and told everybody he was joining the army. That's kind of it. Hmm. OK. What else happened? DeAndre? Uh. So Daniel, right? Yeah. Daniel then goes to the store, buys an army costume, right? You know, he got to make this lie thing come through. Then he has a going away party. He got his whole family at the crib, you know, eating steaks, chopping it up. Then his mom comes downstairs holding his ballerina slippers. And it all goes down from there. <laughs> <laughs> nice little story there, Dre. Next time, read the assignment. Novea. Daniel continues going to his dance class and sprains his ankle right before his competition. He still goes to the competition and wins a scholarship to an art school. Very good, Alex. I'll put it away. Give me your phone. For real, for real. I'll put it away. Give me your phone. Man. I want all cell phones to go in this box before class and you can pick them up at the end of the class. See ya, Dre. All right. You look just like your dad. How you know my dad? I went to school with both of your parents. They were always up underneath each other. Oh, uh, okay. DeAndre, don't think you could just breeze by in my class. I know your daddy ain't gonna go for that. Yeah. Bruh. It was clowning Brian in art class, bro. For real? Yeah, I was trying so hard not to laugh, but I know Brian ain't just let that happen. What'd he say? Nah, he didn't say nothing. It was weird, bro. He just sat there. Brian just sat there? Yeah, bro. He just kept looking down at his paper like he didn't hear him. But there ain't no way he didn't hear Patrick, bro. Dang, that's messed up. I know, bro. You can't tell me my son not good enough for your team. My son was a top receiver in the state for two years straight. You not gonna put my boy on a team? Sir, this school only has one football team. 200 players tried out. Out of that 200, only 36 can make the team. Although Brian is good, he did not outperform the other wide receivers. What you mean he didn't outperform the other receivers? Why is he telling me you ain't put in no work? I did. I scored that touchdown right at the end. He seen me. Nobody could touch me. Yeah, you got that touchdown at the end, but the whole trials you were flopping all over the place. My son don't flop. My son, don't flop. What you need to do is find another job. Because this here ain't for you. You don't know talent when you see it. Hey, man, better bring your voice down. I ain't about to sit still too much longer. You know how many recruiters is looking at my son? You know how stupid you gonna look? Do you know how stupid you gonna look? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Y'all see Brian's pops? Yeah. He really think his son's some top-notch receiver. I ain't never seen hands more slippery. I know you ain't talking, Chris. I don't even know why you made the team. How you gonna be third kicker off the bench? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never, ever gonna see the field, bro. Whatever, man. Man, I ain't trying to run no five miles. Just jog, bro. It ain't even that hard. Yeah, bro, because you're used to doing this. I don't play sports. You gotta pace yourself. All right, so we're gonna run to the youth center on 12th Street and take the back roads Back to the school, all right? Y'all got that? Greg, you got the back, I got the front. Let's go. Come on, bro. It ain't even been five minutes. Who they 
chicken for? Why you ain't in school? Hey, what the? Oh, dang. Uh, they let us out early. Man, they ain't let y'all out early. You too young to be skipping school, bro. What you thinking? Who in here with you? Nobody. Just me. Man, I swear you dumb, bro. Who skipped school in the sixth grade, man? Man, I'm going back. I'm just getting something for lunch. I swear to God, bro. Why you here? Ain't you supposed to be at school? Don't ask me what I'm doing. Put that back. It's time to go. All right, go. So, you just not going to answer my calls. Whatever, Whitney. You act like you don't even love me. Whitney, we broke up. So that's just it? You just going to throw it all away? <sighs> Whatever. You ugly anyways, and I already got me a new boo. <laughs> Hi. Hello? Hey, I'm here to pick you up today. All right, I'm coming out. Hey, bro. What's wrong with him? Got a call from his principal today. He said he was skipping school. Him and his little friend, Pharrell. Oh, dang. Does dad know? Yeah, I told him. Gotta calm him down before he gets home. You know how he can get. Yeah. Devin! Devin! Boy, if you don't get back here... I got it. Devin, what is you doing, bro? You tripping. Man, I hate him. Come on, man. Don't say that. He always yelling at everybody. He always hitting me. One day somebody gonna knock him in his mouth. Okay. I'm gonna run away. Or live with grandma. Or something. So I don't have to see him again. Man, you ain't finna go nowhere. You just mad. Just watch, man. He ain't gonna keep putting his hands on me. Hey, if anybody understands it's me, I'm tired of him too. But running away, it ain't gonna stop him. And if you keep acting dumb, he definitely ain't gonna stop. Man, I don't care. You need to, bro. You out here acting wild ain't gonna get you nowhere. You trying to be a bum? Because that's how you acting. Man, no. All right, then stop acting stupid. You stop doing stupid stuff, you gonna stop getting in trouble. All right, come on, man. I ain't going back. Is you trying to make it worse? You know if Pops get home and you ain't there, he really gonna flip. So? You can't act like you ain't bringing this on yourself, bro. Just come on. Man. It's going to be all right, bro. Just take your beatings like a champ. <laughs> You're going to be all right. Get off me. I'm just messing with you. Here up, here up, little story about a OG. Always rep the 816. Kill up, sit at show back. Sorry, y'all can't hold back. I'm strictly unguardable. Younger bro with DJ Fresh, who always had the hardest flow.